Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at the Bow of Shadows Creation Club content. Now, you could get this bow as early as level one. That is how easy. Go away, demon child. Um, but yeah, so you could get this bow as early as level one. So immediately when you escape from Helgen or level two, or depending on what your level is, uh, you can escape Helgen. You can immediately start this quest. You don't even have to be Thane, technically speaking. But you want to come over here. Where's the steward? Where's the steward? Where's the steward? Where's the steward? You want to find the steward first and foremost, because he'll give you the quest. Wherever the steward lies, I will. Most likely he's out here. Most likely. Sometimes he's out here. Yes, he is indeed out here. Good to see you. Is there anything you need for me? Of course. It's all in this note. All right, now we want to read the steward's note. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Draco, I apologize for the secrecy, but I'd rather not speak about this in front of the Jarl. In the event the information I received is credible, he has enough on his plate as it is. You see, earlier last week, I received a tip from an unnamed source regarding a potential assassination plot on the Jarl. Now... Now, while we take all threats seriously, it's difficult to know just how credible the sort this source is. And with everything that's happened as of late, I don't have time to investigate this myself. That's why I'd like you to head to Arcadia's Cauldron and check out their ledger for any susp suspicious purchases, in particular poisons, uh, in particular poisons. I've asked Arcadia to leave you a copy on her counter. Look it over. Find out who purchased bottles over the last few days and confirm their reasons are legitimate. In the meantime, I'll have our cooks check over check every piece of food, bottles of mead, and leftover breadcrumbs just to be sure nothing is tainted. If your investigation turns up nothing, then I'll know the information I received is false and the Jarl is safe for the time being. If not, I hope someone of your reputation can take care, care of the situation swiftly. All right. All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taking the fight to the storm cloaks. Good to know. So now we want to go over to Arcadia's cauldron. Or Arcadia's call yes, Arcadia's cauldron. Excuse me. I've been meaning to get rid of this one bow that I have because it's just it's just too overpowered. Plus, it's not making the game any fun for me. Not making the game any fun. Excuse the darkness. It's taking a damn it's time. There we go.
Oh, I just realized I didn't install a patch for it. Yeah. Uh, um. Alright, so read this. So you could do this one of two ways. One, you could go into Hall of the Dead, which let's do that real quick. Hold on. As a matter of fact. Since no one else seems to be doing anything about it, it, I've taken steps to rid ourselves of this skeever problem. Please do not eat this cheese as it is laced with a dangerous poison. <clears throat> Excuse me. I repeat, this cheese is for skeevers only. If you feel the need to take a bite, I implore you to look in the mirror first and confirm that you are, uh, in fact, a skeever. If so, you, then you may eat to your heart's content. If you are not a skeever, then you can better serve RK by staying alive. Mm. Very interesting. Did I already take the... Yes, I did. Okay. Matter of fact, Oh, this isn't suspicious at all. The Dark Elf was smart to choose me. Scars aside, I can pass as a stable boy easily enough. I'll tell tell the shopkeep I got booked by a wild one, and I and I landed face first in, in into the briars. I'm smart like that. The other bandits always poke fun at my face. Saying I look, look like a new newborn babe, but it come comes in ha handy for jobs like this. After see seeing how well the Dark Elf pays, the entire gang will be looking for a razor pretty soon. Sp speaking of which, I suppose I'm supposed to meet meet my mysterious benefactor back at the back at the stables and not at Silent Moon's camp. Not sure why, but he says if I'm fo followed, it's best to stay in character until. Till I'm well clear of the city gates. Well, I hope he doesn't sneak up on me while I wait. I nearly soiled myself la the last time. But but smart guy that I am, I bought this tome to help me fi find him. Thing is, I opened it and I can't for the life of me figure out how it works. Only a matter of time, though, for a guy like me. There we go. Well, that was a little bit of a delay, but all right. All right. So now we need to go to Sun and Moon's comp. I don't know if there are bandits over here. 
Probably. What was that? What was oh, that? yep, there there are bandits over here. Oh no, you don't. Ow. No, someone is not here. Yes, someone is. Oh, God. has long since been a player in the game. It's toppled many a piece from Jarls to Kings. It does so without sight or sound, same from a rattling crown on a blood-stained floor. And yet, it's been far too long since it ha had a chance to tilt the board. Rather than than Guile, Ra Raylar's Guile failed to topple a piece. Dram took the flesh but not the soul. And the game went on without incident. Now the piece, pieces sit, sit idly by, refusing to move in their comfort. Even now, as I take aim at this target, I hear their indol indolent yawns through the draws of my bowstring. Yet the board cannot remain, cannot remain level forever with the bow in my hand it will tilt once more however the timing must be right the toppling of a piece rings ho hollow in a thunderstorm i must wait for a quiet moment one that's intimate when the jarl is not engaged in talks of war and dragons if the battle for skyrim comes to whiterun i will be forced to withdraw to redraw but there will come a time when the when he sits idle by idly by in his grand hall unbothered by the world in that moment when the jarl has a chance to finally breathe i will sneak my way to the upper floors and make sure that his breath is his last that breath is his last and when i take my leave cloaked in her shadow all anyone will hear is a rattle. I love that. I absolutely love that. Hold on. I want to check something here before I go back to the Earl's Palace. Hmm. Oh well. How am I caring too much? What? Hello? What weighed me down? What? <laughs> what? What? What the frick weighed me down? I'm so confused. What in God's creation weighed me down? You know what? 
Yes, my Thane? I am at your command. I don't know what weighed me down. I will protect you with my life. Oh, really? Oh, boy. Please don't come over here, dragon. It's gonna go. Well, you know what? Wouldn't be a video without a dragon attack. Get down, dragon. Oh, shit. Shit. Come on, dragon. I just missed that by a long shot. Why do dragons decide to attack in cities, huh? Got you, mother. That's the second dragon attack. Look out. Don't get too close. It may be dead now. Where did it come from? Something's happening. Anyways. All right, actually, let us, um, effects, brightness, where's the brightness for interiors? Make it a little bit more bright. yeah and that is how you get the bow of shadows i 
think the ebony blade is broken because um hold on no yep i knew it But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and if you did, leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe for more ch for more content like this. I'm also doing a Let's Play with this very character. If you wanted to go check that out, I will leave the playlist down below, as well as, you know, uh, as well as the current, or, or as well as related videos somewhere up here, I think, right over here. Um... But yeah, and uh, also join the Discord if you wanted to keep up to date. If YouTube doesn't notify you, my Discord will. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.